When I tell you this breast reduction, I know it took me a long time. And it was a lot of people always telling me, get a breast reduction because Sherry will make you more in proportion. I didn't want to get a breast reduction because I like my boobs. But it was a certain point in my life. Um, I was slouching a lot because they were so, my, my boobs were heavy. And yes, I had a broad back to carry them, but I had lost weight and it was just, it was out of proportion. And I could, it was hard to find clothes, like tops, blouses, and it was just getting painful. So I made that decision to get the breast reduction. I talked to a lot of women who had had breast reduction. So I, I did my research on doctors and there were some doctors I didn't like. You got to have you got to have a good rapport with your doctor because it's a very intimate thing that they're doing and you're very vulnerable. I had one doctor tell me I went to talk to him about uh, the breast reduction. And I, I felt like when I walked out of his office so bad, he had no bad side manner. And then I had asked him about my double chin because I got a double chin right here. I said, you know what? My double chin is always hanging. You know, what do you think about that? And he goes... He goes, I said, could I get lipo on my double chin? And he says to me, he said, uh, because of your age, you need a whole facelift. That's what he told me. He said to me, he said, you need a facelift. He said, we want to pull back your face. So you got to, when you, when you also, when you're doing research on breast reduction, you have to have a rapport with the doctor. Insurance wouldn't pay, even though I was in pain. I'm fighting with my dad on insurance company to reimburse me because I didn't do this because of vanity. I did it because it was I was in pain. I had they had done MRIs on my boobs because I was in so much pain. I I, uh, I tore some muscles in my rotator cuff because of this heavy one right here. And she was so wonderful and made me feel so great. And I said, should I get an implant? And she said, no. She took all of the fat from down here because my boobs were flat here and they were full down here. And they covered, like they covered a lot. And she took all of the fat and she pushed the fat up. So I didn't need to get implants. So I'm feeling good. It took me a long time to heal. I guess if I was in my 20s, I could have healed in two weeks with this breast reduction. But I'm telling they told me it was going to be six to eight weeks of healing. So thankfully, I was on um, I was on my hiatus from the Sherry show. So I was able to just sit on the couch, but I would still post pictures and clothes. Y'all just couldn't tell. I have my compression garments on, compression bra on, um, and I cause to, just to go out with Jeffrey and take him out to eat. But I was still hurting. So it took me 12 weeks, but I'm fine. I feel good now. So I still wear the bra at nighttime because my doctor said to me, she said, uh, she said, you still have to remember you got gravity and gravity wants to pull down. So if you can wear the bra at night, and I was like, well, ain't nobody looking. So I'm with the bra. On. So I do wear a compression bra at nighttime. And it actually feels better when I wear a bra because when they're loose, it feels weird. I can actually go without a bra. I like wearing one, but I cannot wear a bra that has... What is the boning? The underwire. She told me don't wear a bra with underwire. I feel lighter. I'm trying to sit up straight on the talk show because I'm so used to slouching because of the heaviness of my breast that it has become a habit to slouch. So I'm trying to, you know, really sit up and have a better form. My back is not hurting. My arm is a lot better. I still got the muscles torn. It's healing from my rotator cuff. I'm more in proportion. That's the one thing. It like uh, is more in proportion because these are up. So it's more in proportion here. I don't feel like when I walk into a room, it's like, ooh. And I thank y'all for the nice comments because this is a very sensitive subject. But I figured though, there might be some women who want to know what I went through with my breast reduction surgery. And I think that's it. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time.